Uh, okay, that's that's fine. That works well. You have the living armor. You're pretty tanky. You provide hammer fists. You do a decent amount of damage. Uh, PPD knows a lot about this hero, though. Also, they are leaving Universe down bottom alone. They realize that maybe a dual lane in this situation might be fruitless and that they'll lose heroes. Maybe you get first blooded and... It's just not going to be easy. Uh-oh, so. PPD looking to come in from behind. Gets to sleep. They'll reposition here. And they followed up with the Earth Spike. Van tries to retreat to the left-hand side. Auto attack, you need about one or two more. He's got a TP, but he's not going anywhere. Your first blood comes from a Lucent Beam from Fear. EG do strike first, and they get that nice little bonus bounty there for the first blood. Yeah, that's huge for Fear. Smash and... Sumail going toe to toe. Smell for the tree here. There's no nature's guys, so nowhere to hide right here. They follow it up with a stun. PPD puts that sniper to sleep. They're not going to look for a follow up second kill. They'll just walk away from one shrapnel. PPD eating a lot of damage. Universe says, don't come any closer. And they'll just be able to walk away with the one man gank and takedown. So successful smoke, successful movement from the bottom lane for evil geniuses. I'm surprised to see Smell live here. There's the grab, the lasso pullback, no rotation from anyone on EG, and it's going to be a successful smoke gank, one they desperately need at this point to take down that prize target in the Zeus. They do commit 4 for it, but that does get everyone a little bit involved, and not today are just happy to bring in another kill on their side. I mean, you have to stop him from snowballing. Is that's, I mean, Zeus, like, is, he can snowball and... Uh, shrapnel, and next thing you know, he can't break the frickin' base because he's just so little and tiny and he can't get a hold Lord of the Lord of God, I've gun. had a nightmare about Sniper yeah. before. Radiant's it's ridiculous, but, you know, we'll see. EG looking to have an answer for it. Van by his side here on the bottom for now, but for quite a while, it seems like evil geniuses who have been stationing themselves inside the Not Today jungle, they... I have a ward here to Sentry. It's not going to scout out either of the OBS wards here from EG. Oh, God. Stinger, Stinger. No, 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 don't walk up there. They actually don't want it. They see Bat. They want to go for him. And they will. Burst to come on through. Living Armor helps him for now, but it's not going to be enough. Death War going to be committed here from Stinger. Dissipates between the two. Universe going to bump out the ultimate there in hopes of a safe escape. Smash put to sleep. Here comes the Shrapnel from Sniper. Assassinate. It's going to connect on the PPD. Zoning Earth Spike not going to connect, but it slows them down for now. Meanwhile, Universe, who's been kind of the man left behind with fear now, though. The Eclipse going to be unleashed, and they take down Stinger. Smash unleashes the Requiem. Does not get anyone down. Does get the snipe with the raise on the PPD, but he could lose his own life and will lose oh, no. his own life. Mud Golem, he's hoping for maybe a deny, but it's fear who gets that kill as well. Now 3-0 and on his Luna, and he promptly picks up a Blink Dagger. And Universe was able to snipe off the Courier right here. I'm not sure what it was doing there or who brought the item. I think, I don't know who got the item, but whoever did just killed the Courier. So Universe gets an extra bit of gold there as well coming up for his team. So EG not only win the fight, but they get more than they probably should have. Okay, though. They could get a return kill here. Leap in Lasso to pull back the Rabbit. Zeus getting out as much burst damage as possible, expecting to be brought down right now, and it will be. Ifrit gets that kill, he's on a killing spree on his sniper, and he's pretty damn close to finishing out his SNY. Yeah, Not today, did. seemed to kind of have a nice little retort each time EG gets something going. And that's big because Sumail was very close to finishing up his bear then. No, he faked it. Yeah, he, he didn't use it, but they're, they're playing very passively regardless. Yeah. They are not willing to get caught out here. There is a lot of Not Today members missing from the map, and we do not want to risk being caught out. But they are going to make the committed dive. They see the two. Jump in, lasso on a PPD. Owie, trying to get something off, gets brought down from the ward. It's a quick one-two punch from Not Today. EG run right back in. Unleash the Zeus Soul and the Eclipse. They managed to snag one. It's Fear now dominating. But that's only a one support takedown in the exchange for Not Today. Being able to grab two. Nice movement from them. They get crucial access points from the side of EG. The mid lane tier one and now this bottom tier one. So if not today, felt comfortable with creating a little bit of extra space. They could always sneak in and go for the Roche. They have a formidable Roche lineup. EG's Roche lineup is, I don't want to say lackluster, but not as potent. So we'll have to see, but they are not stopping them yet. They are pushing towards this tier two. There will be the Zeus ultimate. 
Not enough to scare them back. Voodoo Restoration keeps them sustained and in place. They're going to throw out the cask, and now they have to get the hell out of there. EG looking to catch him on the way out, though. Nightfall does come. Mystical, very nice root right there. Locks the two, but he could pay with his life. Fiend's grip on the smash. Tries to get off the Requiem, but goes down to the Eclipse from Fear. And they follow it up with a takedown on the Mystical as well. It's going to be three casualties on the side of Not Today. EG lose no one, and they don't even lose their Tier 2. And with that kind of a takedown, they're going to follow it up with a Roche. Yeah, too mid for not today. There just wasn't a chance. They need to have a better, you know, they, they have to have a better plan to back at, at some point in time. That just heroes, but their wards as well just are not going to be as as strong. And I think at this point, Evil Genius has got to feel pretty damn comfortable. And for now, they'll farm up the top. It's not today who feel a bit more pressure to get something done. They blink in. They get a nice lasso onto Fear. He does have the Aegis. So they have to person him down twice, but he's going to pop his BKB, look to man up here. No Eclipse. And now after they root him down, they want to right click at home. And they can't even take him yet. Finally, they get him down. They lose their tree. Death Ward does go down from Stinger, but he could pay with his life. Throws out the cask and he will go down. So what started is a gank attempt there onto Fear. It's just a simple Aegis in exchange for two lives. Not very profitable there for not today. And it was looking really good, too, at the beginning of that gank because he used his Manta BKB and then the Overgrowth hadn't been used yet. So he popped the Overgrowth that kept here in place, but they just don't have the damage at this point. We're talking about a Sniper who has SNY and he's going BKB. And the problem with this build is that you just don't have the damage where if you go for, like, a Maelstrom instead of the BKB, maybe you have a bit more. See you later. <laughs> All right, Owie eats a good chunk of damage, but as before, PPD still has charges to work with and heals them on up. Out of charges though, so they kind of have to be careful. They just, actually they have two urns, and I stuck one as well. So they they still have charges left. All right, well, dual urns. The good huh? thing is that Smash can just clear up these creep waves, and it looks like Evil Geniuses aren't really a hundred percent committed to going just yet. And maybe they will. Move in. They get nice burst. They almost take Smash down. He does the self yules. They are able to clean out Stinger. Universe pops out the darkness. Mystical eating a lot of damage there, forces them back while they begin to bring out the damage. Though it gets healed up promptly from that backdoor protection. Evil Geniuses aren't able to follow through with enough burst. And they didn't get anyone down yet. So not, as a, not a fruitful push for them. We'll see how long they want to stay before they decide to possibly pull back. It looks like they don't want to pull back until they at least get that damn tower. So close to getting smashed. They picked up the kill on the Witch Doctor. He was forced to buy back, which is not bad. But they were putting right click damage on the tower, but like it was backdoor protected. There was no creep wave there. Mm hmm. And they could have gotten that tier three had there been a creep wave, but they've done a nice job of not today making sure they clear those up. And they they feel not today feel so far behind, but they could catch up with just a single kill. I feel like on fear, maybe a couple of others. But it's so hard. Positioning is so good. Oh man, here they have the nature's guys. He gets the jump and immediate feeds grip stops the bat in place. Try to unleash the assassin to fish off Sumail. Big jump. Requiem from Smash, but Fear just looking to plow on through. Unleashes the Eclipse, takes down one, but he could lose his own life. That Sniper, Ifrit, on the back lines, it just continues to dish out the right click. They have nothing to stop him from doing so. So not today are able to bring down two, including Fear on his Luna, who did have a pretty fair bounty. He was 10 and 0. They'll buy a Quelling Blade, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, I mean, that's the other way, is you just walk around with the gem and give Universe something like a Quelling Blade, but that's a slot dedicated to a, a Quelling Blade to get rid of eyes. Not really ideal, but they'll need someone to do it, and that means they kind of need to make sure they stick together to get it done, and there's a good chance you'll miss a couple of eyes here and there, and the one you miss could be the one that ends up grabbing you. So I do like the pickup here. It's going to help them every little bit, because they could certainly use the vision. Protect his ultimate now. With Agon and Scepter, it's actually really creepy when you think about it. It's just yeah, it's kind of stalkerish. It's out of like a crazy Disney movie, if you will. Yeah. It's, uh, well, either way, that's that's a big pickup. Another big pickup for Ifrit. MKB is now completed. I think Smash is close to his. He's about 1,500 gold. They're flying at an urn for Stinger. That's how you know you're poor. Is when you have treads and a cloak and not even an urn yet on a Witch Doctor. Yeah. He handed over his farm opportunity to someone like the Treon Protector, so his dream of an Agnum Scepter is not much of a reality here. But anyway, here comes EG. 
They smoke up and they go on the move. The darkness is going to be dropped here. And this could be a clash, Mott. Up and above. There we go. Unleashing the fury. Sumail tries to get him down. Finger connects on Stinger. He tries to heal on up. He will go down. Fear unleashing the Eclipse. Ifrit trying to get back into a safe position. Oh, Van moves in. Gets caught. Good hold there on the smash. Finishes him off. And they're just going to wipe the floor here with not today. Ifrit the last standing. It just looks like nothing. EG just easily mow through not today on this bottom lane. And they made it look effortless right there, Mott. Van walked back into the Eclipse. He's like, oh. A big fight here even is probably not going to be enough to get him back into the game. But it is step one. Top tower has fallen. This is just going to be really, really tough. Really tough. He's trying to clear out the way first and foremost. But just like that, smashes down to half-life. <laughs> just with one quick ultimate there. He gets healed up promptly from Witch oh. Doctor in the mech. Mail was trying to TV back home to buy his uh, refresher ore, but actually got canceled by the assassinate. Uh -huh. That's pretty funny. Radiance top tower is oh, it doesn't matter. Fear. They're going to keep going. Yeah. Fear moves confidently forward as he still has the Aegis here. It starts going in. They get the lasso pull back onto PPD. They want to get rid of him. They do. But now Chaos breaks out here. Smash can be thrown up. Yule's if we're trying to get a firm place here. Starts shooting out the damage. Going for Universe as Universe hunts down Stinger. Finishes him off. Now Fear moves on forward. Eclipse popped. Missed the cow. Not going to be able to make it in. Smash inside the fountain. Unleashes the Requiem. They might be able to get Sumel here. They do take him down. But it's a Bloodstone. So he'll be back in about five seconds time. They also get... Owie, so Evil Geniuses confidently strut their stuff past the Tier 3 in the racks to take a fight. Which they end up not really coming out on top, but after everything has already been unleashed, they simply buy back and get back into position again to finish this one out. Yeah, they they wanted it really to kill it, but that's the biggest problem right now. Smash is absolutely in trouble. He's gonna mech up. There's the refresher. Zeus ult available. He's gonna pop it off. Singer not dead. Radiance just survives the Voodoo restoration, but it's just enough fallen. room created for fear. Radiance Space created once again as Beth is now gone and Rax is flipped up, but this is about to be major creeps. There they go. Lots of damage here onto the Rax now down to half life. They try their best to hold them back. They're able to take down PPD. Smash moves forward. Fear, they pops his BKB and they go into a man fight here between each other. And Fear is winning without question. Easily handles Smash and goes right back onto the racks to finish the job he had started. And he just conveniently gets an additional kill with just the Glaives alone. As Universe and Sumail keep the rest of the Not Today squad back, they just want to finish this game out with Megas. Lasso pulls back Fear and they do take him down. Immediate buyback for him. Finger flies from Maui, try to finish off Smash. Smash will live. Not Today just trying their best to defend, but the base has already been torn all apart. Mega creeps are unleashed. And this is just a bare-knuckle brawl here at the end to just give him one last effort from not today. But I assure you, Evil Geniuses will be walking away from this, the victor, and as they take game number one in this best of three. they just like, all right, we're going to buy back on everybody. We'll go straight down mid. Let's find some kills. They don't finish off the game. They couldn't get Ifrit again. They've already lost a tier four, though, for not today. Because and... this is the Hail Mary of a, of a play. Darkness to come out. Here comes EG. Looking to finish out game one here. Can they do it? All right. Be preemptive BKB coming out from Van as he moves in. Double lightning to fall out from Sumail. Ifrit tries to step back it away. Has his BKB popped. Now the right click to fly. Universe eating lots of damage, but it's already Ifrit, the lone defender at this point with no buyback. It's a cute rapier you got there, but you're going to be sitting in the fountain waiting to use it. Sumail's going to be the bouncer of it. In fact, he's just going all in. They want to take out the sniper and take that sword away. Give me that frickin' sword. Give me this win. EG take game number one against Not Today. Van, buddy, uh, I know you're supposed to BKB before you initiate, but I don't know what kind of initiation that was. That was a bit rough. I feel bad for him. He BKB, got like stuck in the trees, then proceeded to walk out and for like two seconds stood there and then got Fiend's gripped by PBD. And after that, it was all downhill there.